to build it up right there. <laughs> Jeez. Um, as always, we're having way too much fun before the segment starts. Uh, right. Welcome. It is episode 51 of Collecting and Connecting uh, Podcast. We have uh, some wonderful hosts today, yeah. some great beards in the collection. In fact, we have a bearded, star studded cast. Um, we'll start. Uh, Colton, Mr. Jazz Captain, how you doing out there, buddy? I am fabulous. I'm just grateful to be among such legends. <laughs> wow. Look at him. Um, flattery gets you everywhere, says the next oh, yeah. guest, uh, nice. host, the man who started it all, Sir Treticus Mayor. How are you doing over there, sir? Hey, sir I, Mayor? I, I was just, listen, I got my AW and, and and I didn't start anything. I was just building on what our what our guy Lexo and Wolfpack started back in the day. Uh, uh, you know, I just took all the best of the Wolfpack, turned it into something called C and C. Not only are you beautiful, you're also very modest. Um, <laughs> but what's the one three to kiss? Uh, I am King Brett. Um, in case you don't know, I love the Mavs. And that's all I have to say other than go queso. And let's yes. get to uh, the reason we're all here today. The man, the myth, the beautiful bearded legend. Uh, everyone knows this man, uh, the Blazers lover. Uh, Alexa, how you doing out there, man? We're so glad to have you. Hey, uh, thanks for having me. I've been uh, huge fans of what you guys are doing forever. And I'm finally meeting you. And I'm, uh, I'm a starstruck right now. So... Thanks for having me. Oh my gosh. What are you talking about? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> and if you're not if you're not watching this, just so you know, uh, Alexa has one of the coolest backgrounds we've ever had anyone have. Uh, Colton, can you describe that for the people that aren't watching that are listening? Yeah, it's the legendary uh, art from what set is that? S what series is that? It's the cosmic. It's yeah. The cosmic. cosmic. Yeah. I put him on a spot because I was terrified to answer it because I don't have a legendary full set. Um, that is beautiful, by the way. Oh, you have the first legendary set. On. It wasn't the first one minted, but it was the first one dropped. So, that, wow, that, that really? Kinda, that kind of stuck with me. And I, I love the just the art on that yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, it's the really game, epic. Bring it back. It's, yeah. That's yeah. Hey. It's like doing a dunk. Just, he's dunking planets in, in, in the universe. Yeah. That's what, uh, that's just what, we're, that's what we're going before, for. We're going to the moon. Just, <laughs> yes, sir. Well, just moments, speaking of legendaries, just moments ago, I have some exciting news. Uh, yeah. I just purchased my second ever legendary on NBA Top Shot. Just nice. not 30 minutes. Whoa. What did you get? So, what, did you, what did you pick up? I, I snagged the uh, Keontae George Rookie Revelation Legendary. Nice. I was excited to get a Legendary with uh, audio. And oh, dude. So nice. grabbing a Jazz one made, you know, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it's Keontae call, does, man. but. It's a good call. Dude, but how people, are sleeping, people are sleeping on him. Yeah. Well, sure. I agree. I love, um, the, I love the fact they're pulling some audio in these moments. Like moments have just progressed so far. Alexa, yeah. you've been you've been around since the beginning. Like I don't know how many people have seen more things change in Top Shot than you. Like for the better and you know whatever, but like progressions and sets and artwork and you know pack work and just the opening experience and songs and just everything, dude. Yeah. Like yeah, just just the evolution of it a little bit changes every week almost and if not yeah. every week every month and some what everything that's changed um so it's kind of fun to go back and kind of think about where it was even just a few months ago um yeah because yeah. it, it's just it changes fast and it's it's been a fun ride and just trying to make the most of it alex i have that. a couple sure. questions for you all right shoot and We've all prepared this, this, by the way. We're very, we're very excited. He <laughs> has twenty-two. I have twenty-eight. Treat has one hundred and seventy-two. I didn't. I didn't know I was going to be in the hot seat. <laughs> so, what you came out of hibernation for a reason. You knew. All right. Um, I'm going to need a nap after this. All right. Do you have 
a favorite Trailblazers moment? Of course you do. Would you share it? Tell us what it is. Go share it. He's like, no, because you're all going to go try to buy it, and I can't buy more of them. <laughs> it's okay, because I already, I already got a nice stack of these. Um, okay. Is, <laughs> I mean, you could just look at my collection to find my, my favorite moments. Um, but, I've got uh, your collection see what up I'm, right see what I'm as stacking. we speak. I have your but, collection uh, up. Uh, I like uh, the uh, Blazers team debut. Um, I, I really like those team debut sets, the dynamic duos. Dynamic, yeah. And, yeah. and they just they just went with the best duo, my favorite duo, Dame and CJ. Yeah. Uh, really. do, doing what they did for so long. Um, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's special. So, so the dynamic duo is your favorite Blazers moment. Yeah, yeah. It's not. Um, it's not Dame waving. No, I don't have that one yet. I need to get that one. Get busy. I'm surprised by that. That's that's well, they, my number they, one most wanted moment. Well, I spent all my money in Series One, so I I, I got to figure out how to <laughs> yeah. get all these new moments. <laughs> that makes sense. That's very logical. Do you yeah, have so. a Do you have a favorite moment? If we're taking out the Blazers, do you have a favorite moment on Top Shot? Such a I love question. the one that always um, my well my favorite moments in general are, are blocks. They just they're just so I don't know emotional. They're awesome. <laughs> so much energy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they and uh, they're more they're more rare than uh, other types of plays. So yeah. Um, and so I, I love, love that. I, and I'm probably the best block I've seen, and, and the best moment is is Zion's debut, oh, just yeah. hitting that volleyball into the yep, stands. Yeah. Yep. His rookie year. Yeah. Uh, that was special. You, I guess an honorable mention is is Jerry Allen's block too, because oh. um, he he rarely, um, like shows personality on the court but with that yeah, one yeah. he's just like he, yeah. he blocks it and then shakes his head while he's walking yeah. away so you may or may not hold serial number one of that zion block i, I might have it yeah <laughs> that's incredible <laughs> that is incredible that is Dude, I'll do it, ser block. series one had that same moment it's in like five different sets it's it's in the denied yeah. set it's in the it's, cosmic yeah, that's right that's right rookie yeah. debut Hollow, I knew it was in a couple of five MJ sets. Lee. I didn't know that. So six of them, yeah. Oh wow. Uh, oh, and the and the Genesis. So at, at least six or seven. So, but oh, yeah, for, the, for this set, this this uh, cosmic set, I got the number one, uh, which is, which I think makes it even more special because it's also his jersey. So yeah, and right. Debate, it's like the culmination of everything perfect coming together <laughs> to create that. Yeah, and the debate of uh, perfect or. Jersey or number one? Yeah. Why not have them all? I choose yeah. all of them. But that. Yeah. So actually, the one that has the only moment that has the jersey number one and perfect is that Wemby at Wemby this year. That Ooh. ultimate. That's yeah. That's special. Yeah. That is special. What? Yeah. Can we? I'm gonna petition to get denied brought back for next season. That's because who doesn't really love a filthy block? I'll sign it. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's Thank my you. favorite set, and that's my favorite set. My second favorite is uh, uh, with the strip, and I love those defensive plays. Yeah. yeah. I, after blocks, it's the steals, and like yeah. the, the Kyrie steal with the strip is really good. Yeah. Just, yeah. Awesome. Steals it and hits hits a three at the buzzer. Yeah. Yep. But you it's, brought up a point I didn't even really think about, like because a lot of people are looking at mint counts and trying to get the lowest you know, number they can or whatever serial they can. And I, out of all the analyzing and thought, thinking about Top Shot, I never thought like, wow, on the platform, blocks, drip, like steel, like those are some of the more scarce moments because yeah. they don't happen all. There's a, a million three-pointers. There's a million. Alex is playing chess. We're playing and checkers. Like, I don't know, bro. It's all about the moments. Uh, it is. Right, right now the market treats all the rares the same. For the most yeah. part, and all the commons the same, but I don't think they are. So we'll see how that plays yeah. out. So I think uh, there's opportunities there. Honorable uh, mention yeah. to Rudy Gobert blocking Jaw. Uh, oh, that's yeah. a good playoff, 
playoff moment. Awesome it's moment. A good moment. It's a good. That was a good series. That was a good. That was series. an awesome series. How, how do you how do you feel about the Minnesota Jazz right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We <laughs> Utah. Utah loves the Minnesota Jazz. Utah adores <laughs> Rudy Gobert. <laughs> That's funny. And Con- Conley too, right? Yeah, yeah, and Nikhil Alexander Walker. It's funny because on a previous episode with Colton on there, we were talking. We we're like, "Man, it's a lot of Mavs players went through the Jazz. A lot of Minnesota players went through the Jazz." And it's like, oh, th- "Thanks for all that hard work. We both teams appreciate it." <laughs> That's what small market teams do. <laughs> we feed the big markets. Well, Minnesota is not a big market, but yeah. Dallas is. You a relate, small Alex. Yep, I can. Oh, so, Alex. Yep. Uh, I need to 50, almost you. 50 years since the Bill Walton, uh, since the Bill Walton uh, ring. So rest in peace. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was that was, that was tough to see. Champion. Too young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to way too young. young. Way too young. Um, I regularly get in trouble because I make hot takes all the time. It's a Good. disease. I can't resist. I say crazy things. And all summer, last summer, I was saying Scoot is going to be better than Wemby. He, <laughs> he wasn't. It just wasn't. It's, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over so yet. Josh, but talk to Josh us about – help me feel it. I like Scoot. Obviously, I thought he was going to win Rookie of the Year before yeah. the season started. Um, I will. I will eat crow. I. I own it. I admit it. I said it. Um, what did you see from Scoot that helps people like me look a little bit less stupid in five years? <laughs> um, well, if you ignore the first half of the season, it makes it look a lot better. If you just look at the last half. Yeah. You started to see things clicking. Um, mm-hmm. So. That gives me hope. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's young. It's too early to say. You, you see these stars break out in their later twenties usually, so right. you never know. True. Young, we'll see in young, five years. Let's let's let's, let's chat in five years about it and yeah. we'll see how it goes. Love it. Like you got like like Anthony uh, is is starting to you know be on his rise, and it's yeah. he's been around for a long time, and you got other people just. Uh, taking the next level after several years, like Shay and yep. Uh, yep. a bunch of these guys are taking it to the next level. Um, yep. Brunson, uh, as they get older, so yeah, yeah, um, it, it definitely takes time. I think Scoot's got the physical, the physical attributes to do it. No doubt, he's he's uh, big. Once he, once he started wearing those once he started wearing those goggles too, the goggles Scoot. He's much better. Goggle yeah. scoot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what was that? Well, like, that? That might get up there with like the mask LeBron and the, mask you know, the headband. Uh, mask Jalen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, um what was what did this what was the stat I saw? Forgive me for not having it pulled up about Scoot's assist. He had he led rookies in was it was it just assists? I'm overthinking it. It's double doubles with assists. He's that's what he it had, was. That's what it was. I think he was the only one to have them, and he had yeah. multiple. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's so I think I think Scoot had a better rookie campaign than people give him credit for. I yeah. I think he, I think he 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 gave a bad first impression, and then he yeah. got hurt, and then he was gone for a while. Um. So. I think it's fine. He set the expectations low now, and it's you can only go out from here. Yeah. By yeah, now, we, so make, later. we make we, we make, saw the uh, upward trajectory. We make judgments way too fast on these players. Uh, about, yeah, so. Twitter doesn't help at all. Yeah, no, no. Just jump into conclusions. That that's what gets the most engagements is is jumping to conclusions and saying yeah, things that are controversial. That's right. But, uh, yeah. Saying negative stuff, especially. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I, I can relate to your your hot takes too. Like, uh, I think I'm like a contrarian in nature. Just uh, yes. so sometimes I have to fight that with myself. But sometimes that's the only way to like 
to uh, like prove something is like to to take the other side and and, and see if you can like create the yeah. counter argument or not and, yeah. and see right. how strong that take is or not. So yeah, there's kind of like a scientific method to to the, the hot takes. I think yeah that, that can can get you closer to the truth. So we're I, 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 how, I like the hot takes. How were your emotions when Mr. Lillard departed for Milwaukee? That was that was heartbreak. That that took a, that was heartbreak. It took a while to get over, but um, um, and the similar thing there too. When people are judging him pretty early, but yeah, yeah, you did, you did, you had some shining moments over there. So, and I think it'll just get better with more time. I'm skeptical of the coach, but. We'll see. Yeah, that was that was a strange decision uh, in the middle of the year. I, you know, it, it'll that's a that's an interesting experiment uh, with with Giannis and Dame together. We'll see what, what that what that becomes. But your your Trailblazers are always they always seem to be finding some some talent where other people kind of missed it, right? Uh, oh yeah, we got we got Duop. Out of nowhere, and yeah, yeah. A lot of these undrafted guys who who end up just going crazy. Yeah, what is there? Is there a person behind that? I mean, what? Why do they? It's got to be something they're doing right. It's it's. A, it's probably a whole team of people. Right. Yeah. Small market. You only have limited funds. You got to get resourceful. So, mm -hmm. um, I think yeah, it's just a resourceful team. Um, Maybe a desperate team, <laughs> just trying gotcha. throwing hail marys out there. Yeah, um, so sometimes sticks. it sticks. Yeah, yeah. so um, I'm not sure. I know Joe Cronin's the GM. He's got like a mixed reputation, um, but yeah, it's kind of early to say. Yeah, um, Portland has a. Like. I mean, obviously they're not hanging banners every year like the Jazz are, but. Um, <laughs> Portland has a reputation for being a, a good quality franchise. They really do. I mean, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of the, like like the wholesome, I think, franchise. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, I was uh, I was not surprised when Aiton took off when he went to Portland. Honestly, I mean, the situation yeah, was just better for a young player like him. Yeah, and yeah, he, yeah. he's. This is not financial advice, but uh, his rares are going to pump next year because he's going to be putting up crazy numbers and fast break people and coming into fast break are going to be needing blocks and rebounds and, and points in the paint, all these random stats. And, and he's going to be one that I'm going to be trying to snack a few rares up this summer. Yeah, I'm just going to be do dominating. Are you gonna yeah. are you gonna are you gonna rent those out on floaty? Are you are you any of you guys in that rental game? I've been researching it for next season. I've I've done it. I did it more last year. Um, yeah. But I, I gotta get back into it. The the, heart, the challenging thing is is so many of my so many of my moments are locked. It's yeah. hard to unlock them and then then have to yeah. relock them and wait another year. So Trying to figure out the right balance. Maybe having some that are rent, renting out and some that stay locked. Um, I have to think about that some more. But I mean, it, why not? It's it's a it's a great tool we have. I think we should. Yeah, it's, it's free money. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm with you. I, I've got I've got so much of my uh, of my collection locked. I mean, uh, I don't plan on selling any of it so uh and i just i'd rather have it all locked and not have to think about it rash is there it's locked it's, it's not going anywhere so yeah. that's that's part of my challenge too yeah yeah I and, when, and when you rent it out too and then you get it back it resets the, the top shot score so there's that part of it too but if it if it's a moment you don't have locked then it doesn't matter you rent it out get right. it back and, yeah yeah, I've got a problem there's, where there's I, a lot of variables to, to factor yeah. in there. Yeah. All I know is all the Minnesota Timberwolf fans out there keep messing up my internet and keep kicking me off. So I can't <laughs> it. And it's solely due to yeah. our last episode. 
I'm just saying I don't like it whatsoever. <laughs> you got some you got power problems down there in Dallas? Man, we had a storm come through two nights ago and there was eighty five mile an hour winds that blew yeah. airplanes around um, about a mile and a half south of my house, destroyed some houses. So I had three wow. trees down, a fence down, a shed blown off. Uh, it's been crazy. A million people don't have power here in Dallas right now. Uh, I have power, but no internet. So it's been kind of a crazy whole thing. Um, but doing what I can do to keep jumping on here uh, and not mess this up because this is so exciting. All these birds. We have Alexo. Like, what else? Ah, uh, there he goes. And then, and then he leaves. <laughs> yeah, it looks like. Yeah, I think he's onto something with the Timberwolves. The Tim they brought they, they brought their storm down with them. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, who who uh, who would you like to see uh, win the finals? Oh, we got two of them here now. Yeah. Um, we, uh, I I got Dallas. I would love to see Luca win. Let's really? go! Sorry, sorry. And, and, yes. and they're be and they're technically the underdog at this point. I, I always have a thing for the underdog. You're a contrarian. You said, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Sorry, Tridicus. Uh, I got a root against the super team. Well, um, no, no worries, man. I I, uh, I respect your your opinion. But it's our turn, right? I mean, listen, we've been fighting, we've been fighting, we've been getting close, getting close. Uh, we should have beaten the Warriors, but uh, ran up against one of the greatest players of all time. Curry just went off and broke us, you know. Um, but I think I, I was I was rooting for you guys that year. Yeah, I, want, yeah. I wanted them to win that year. I did, yeah, obviously, but yeah, I mean, you can't. You, you got to give it to those guys that are the greatest of all, you know, that, on that list, like Curry, mm -hmm. where he just decided, all right, this is over. Um, but I, I feel like we've got some sort of, um, you know, drive or, or something mentally that we didn't have before. And I think we saw it with the Pacers, right? The Pacers are a damn good team, man. I mean, very underrated. And then – the way that we were able to just to keep just you know keep them at bay or you know come back in the last that game one obviously uh, and then overtime uh, that, that was shot a great series. Was, Didn't it, the numbers don't look like it, but it was yeah. fun to watch. It was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. I'm just. Uh, I'm the only thing I'd be bummed about if they win is is Marcus Smart's not there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I yeah. saw a, I saw a great tweet the other day uh, about Grant Williams. Um, yeah, <laughs> y'all see that? Yeah, Poor yeah. Grant. Yeah. If the if the Mavs and the Celtics are in the finals, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's on both of their teams. Yeah, <laughs> I feel I feel bad for him too. After getting he's he's probably got a CTE after getting stomped by uh, yeah by Embiid last year. Yeah, that looked yeah. like I didn't that think he would get up after that. Yeah. That was crazy, and B'd be stomping on everybody. But it was a little bit, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I got a Grant Williams, uh, you know, TSD stack, uh, which I'll hold forever. But, you know, that little beef he had with uh, with Butler last year in the, in the playoffs. It, yeah. You, know, it, it, you don't poke the bear. No, so, that was stupid. He did. Uh, so that's I was rooting. <laughs> I was rooting for Boston last year. I'm rooting for Boston this year. Um, yeah. No one asked me, but Jalen Brown. Let me ask you this. It. Let me ask you this. Um, you know, talk about underrated. You got you got our boy Danny Ainge down there. That dude's always going to be making moves. It feels yep. like he's. Uh, you know, people forget about him. Yeah. What do you What do you think he's uh, uh, brewing up down there? And Danny, we trust, man. Yeah, he yeah. Uh, he apparently uh, apparently apparently he was at the uh, draft combine. He was at the lottery, and then he's been at the draft combine, and he's been very um, I can't remember the way that it was described, but very active. Nice. Um, people people say that they're they. It's clear that Danny is up to something. Nice. Um, who Love he's looking to fleece? I don't know. Um, I don't think he can fleece the Nets again. They've got him blocked. 
yeah, <laughs> um, but I, I, I am excited. You know, it does give me great, um, what's the word confidence knowing that yeah. he's yeah. putting our team together. Yeah. You guys are sneaky young and, uh, I got to see you. I, I got, I won courtside tickets. I, I saw that for the jazz. See that? Yeah. The jazz, jazz and, Memphis game. And Memphis, yeah. Uh, I like a lot I think of your Memphis players. won that game. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, uh, it's because I was there. Yeah. Um, naturally. Yeah. And my wife got an amazing like, picture of Desmond May in the layup. That, uh, That's awesome. Yeah. We, uh, we print it out and hang it in our, in our uh, living room. That's awesome. Love that. IRL. Gene Brett, Gene Brett in and out. Uh, it's like the honeymoon. What about it's trying, uh, yeah. it's persistent. It's persistent. Can we get I need we a get, moment. Uh, Danny Ainge connects us all, I think though. He's he's got he's been everywhere. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not to like him. Yeah. He, Utahns love him. He's Mormon, you know. Ah, little, that's true. Little known fact. Went to BYU. That's right. Hell of an athlete, you know. right? Yeah. Baseball, basketball. Yeah. Always the nicest yep. people. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had good good stories with my so, friends. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. We're gonna get a in the finals. We're gonna get a Jalen Brown absolute posterization of Luka Doncic. Oh, oh yes, and we I'm are. here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for Jaylen, it. Luka's gonna he's gonna cry. Oh, he's going to cry. And, <laughs> and I'm going to put it in the Louvre. I'm going to get we're going to get we're going to get I uh, infinite objects to mint to print it and we're going to I'm going to send it to the Louvre. I love right that. there in Paris. That's going to happen. Shit up. You're right. Well, we're we're also probably going to get like a a logo game winner from Luca too. So uh, at least for one of those. Yeah. It'll be games. a yeah, he'll get fouled on a 3. And make the yeah, for a win or where he created the contact. The NBA yeah. said last summer we're done calling yep. these stupid fouls where the player, aka Luca, <laughs> Harden, pump <laughs> fake, and then crash into you. And then last night, what did we get? A Luca yep. add one three. We did. And you know, I had a friend of mine that was going all you know conspiracy theory about there's no way that the, the Mavs are going to sweep the the Timberwolves because the NBA can't have no games on, you know, until the yeah. 6th. And, and I was like, That's, I don't believe any of that. Until until Kyrie's pass uh, in uh, mm. game four, where he actually threw it to the Timberwolves. Like, yeah. like okay, well, maybe this is true. Maybe they got a little, you know, Kyrie turnover here. We need this uh, series to last a little longer. When Kyrie's no stranger to conspiracy theories. <laughs> yeah, but... True. How, how, are they control, how are they controlling him, though, if he didn't get the vaccine? They must Ooh. have found another way in. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> they found another way in. They gave him free queso for two years. Yes. <laughs> that always works. That always yeah. works. Un unlimited queso in Dallas, right? Uh, yes, and if you come to Dallas, you also will have the perk of unlimited queso. Oh, man. Now, now King, King, you've got uh, – you have that. At a I, I, restaurant, don't you? That's a it, real thing. I, I do. It is a real thing. I have the card and everything. I could show you if you really don't believe me, but I know you all do. And you get unlimited yeah. queso. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's incredible. And then he drops off. Wow, like, that's a mic drop right there. Mic drop. Yeah. <laughs> unlimited queso. queso drop. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. That was so, perfect. Alex, um, what did you love? I mean, like Treat was saying earlier, I think Treat was saying it, you, you, you're you everywhere on Top Shot. Um, we all see your name on all the leaderboards and 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 everywhere. Um, thank you, by the way, for propping our, <laughs> for helping to prop the platform. But Heck yes, what, yes. what do you, what, what did you see from this season that, that gave you optimism for the future regarding Dapper and Top Shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I, I love I love the moments. The curation's gotten they've gotten like a system in place, and it's it's 
getting really smooth. The turnaround on moments is really nice. So I like that. But on top of it, which is even more important for me, is the the utility. Like that's the, the big reason I jumped into this whole Web3 NFT stuff is with Dapper Labs with their crypto kitties. I was like, oh, like you can do crypto, but also have the crypto do things. It can, you can play cool. a game with them. So with this fast break, that that just yeah. took it to the next level for me where these are cool collectibles on their own, but now, now they're at the next level where you can do more things with them. Um, and um, yeah, I, I just like playing games. I, I just want, I just want to have more things to do in experiences um, with, with this platform. So now we're getting that. And so I think that's going to be big if they can build on top of that. Do you play fast break a lot? Are you heavily uh, yeah, involved? Yeah. I haven't missed any of them. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And I'm changing Amazing. my lineup throughout the day. What? Always checking the injury reports right before the games. Yeah. And yeah. It's it's gotten me more engaged with with the NBA too, which I think that that could be big. Um, if if the NBA realizes how much more people are watching games because of Top Shot, I, I think yeah. it could be a big a bigger like partnership. Um, where right now I think Top Shot has to pay for a bunch of ads to if they want to do marketing, but maybe they can do something together. That's more yeah. um, like a win-win. Right. Cause I think it is a win-win opportunity. Yeah, I agree. What do you think of what, when you talk about if they can build, what do you, what does that mean? Uh, what would you like to see them build on top of fast break? What does it look like for you? They have, well, they've, they've kind of hinted a few things like now they they have these uh, leagues where you can yeah. have, that's going to go there. Uh, different leagues with your, with your, um, your own mini micro communities and compete with your, your groups. And, um, the other thing they're doing is putting fast break on chain so that other people like on the moment or, or maybe even floaty can, can build like their own games on top of fast break. Um, cause all the, all the data in the whole system will be open source. Um, yeah. so, we can see the community take it to the next level too. And it doesn't have to just be top shot building on top of it. Right. That's interesting. That's a whole other level. I haven't even thought about Yeah. Like well, maybe, maybe floaty can like integrate loans into like, they can have like a loaning version of fast break or something wow. where, where like loaning is built into it or something like that. Uh, that, that um, there's a lot of things that could happen. It just takes time to build stuff like that. Yeah. It'd as be a, interesting to get be able to put your moments up. As uh, mm -hmm. I'm so excited about fast break. Um, in the in the jazz Discord, um, our original I'm a team captain, and our original team captain, the other captain Hobbs, DJ Hobbs, busts his butt every jazz game. There's a, a, a he drops a pick 'em before every jazz game, so oh, wow. you know everybody can everyone goes in and, and just makes their predictions um and what i'm so what i'm super looking forward to with, with fast break is leagues like we just said which are, are out i've created one um cool. i haven't done anything with it yet but i just wanted to see kind of what that is going to look like but inevitably we're going to see the ability right now leagues you set your lineup and it's the same lineup across all of your leagues. It's inevitable that we're going to see leagues that you can have different lineups for. Yeah. And mm -hmm. good point. Yep. We're going to see, I'm, I hope next season, the Jazz or the Blazers or the Memphis Grizzlies channel be able to have a fast break league for their team. And nice. you're competing with. Grizzlies moments or Blazers moments, or, you know, like Jacob was saying in a recent YouTube interview, like maybe it's just top shot debuts that are eligible for this run. There is, yeah. I mean, rookies. You name yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. So the, I think, you know, the utility for moments is going to, it's going to come. Um, yeah. And, and maybe see. some of those more difficult higher end leagues, they offer, you know, Bigger prizes. Bigger prizes, yeah. And so, and the sky's the limit. I mean, we can offer you can offer whatever the hell you want. Yeah. Um, Alex has to 
give me one of his legendaries if I win, you know. <laughs> right. like, <laughs> Bring it on. People. Yeah. People love some competition in here. He loves to make it, he loves make it interesting. Yeah. But yeah, so it's exciting I'm, to see all the games come up. Uh, that, that's always what I wanted uh, out of this is um, I, I just love playing games. I'm, I'm a gamer. That's my uh, passion. So, um, and, and seeing other developers build on top of Top Shot is always exciting. We, we've seen like early versions of the Realms game, which is a lot of fun. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, excited to see where that goes. And uh, maybe that can tie into Fast Break 2 somehow and just kind of make like this big Top Shot uh, universe we can, yeah. everyone can play a different way. I collect a different way and just enjoy themselves. Yeah. Escape from just escape from life and have a fun hobby. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say that you uh, admire your collection often? Do you view uh, your moments? Do you go through it a lot? I'd say yeah, if if I if I'm feeling bummed out, you know, maybe once a week or like once a month, yeah. you know. If I'm just having a down day I'll, I'll go look at my collection for a pick me up and yeah, just, yeah some good nostalgia in there and um yeah and trying to put together like a fun playlist for certain events and stuff yeah uh, you there's the both. card there and you is. and i both hey alex you and i both go to your collection when we <laughs> pick me up. <laughs> finally me too i jump on there for inspiration and <laughs> happiness and prosperity safe. and i'm excited you know what i want to see uh top shop build thanks thanks for asking brett what i want to see um You're i really want to see a more <laughs> um shareable screenshotable summary of my moments interesting um, that you know like i want to be able to have my phone background be like a moment thumbnail with the serial uh, number like number 13 of 54 or whatever and and be able to have all the stats and everything right there in like a jpeg nice. um, i love my infinite object uh, but digital picture displays are a hell of a lot cheaper um it'd be really cool to and then you know then you've got your playlists like you just said i think that would be sweet i'm i'm really yeah. pushing for that yeah because right now they they build the playlist and you can like look through like the curated ones but it'd be nice to make our own we have the showcases but that's not quite the same um right in the, in the collections but um yeah more more ways to show off i think is is cool not even just to show up just for yourself to, to look at yeah um, at moment nerd did some cool stuff with that where you can make your own profile yeah. picture yeah more oh, of that, that would be awesome that was good stuff yeah yeah, Y'all probably already that. talked about this the 75 times the Minnesota fans kicked me off, but uh, <laughs> the, just the fact that you can do the artwork into anything now, if you own the set, uh, you all probably, like I said, already mentioned it, but like oh. your background, to be able to put it anywhere, to be able to put it on a coaster or whatever is just such a cool thing to be able to do too now. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's on the top, top of my list that keeps getting um, shelved is doing something with all that IP because yeah, now we, now it's in our hands to do stuff with it. So, yeah. Um, we got well, a few got, ideas. Just yeah. We've got some stuff in the merch store, right? CNC merch store. Uh, I've been checking that out. That's good stuff. It is good stuff. Um, yeah. And that's, that's where you I always just, you know, you start to dream and, and about the future and the other utility, especially in the, um, I hope someday in arena, right? In arena things that you get to be access to or, you know, buy. We talk about being able to buy, you know, a hot dog and yeah. beer with your I, moments or something, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um we we've seen we've seen some glimpses of that where at Summer League they've had some presence in the arena and right. uh last season they had an event where they gave out like a Blazers NFT. At the, yeah. at the Blazers game. Um, so hopefully they keep experimenting with that and find something that works. Because um, I think that's going to be huge for activation. I don't, I just don't think it's, it's, they found the right solution yet, but right. there's got to be something there. Yeah, got to be something. Yeah, because people still don't, uh, 
you know, I mean, obviously, right, I've won tickets, and it's like I'm there because I have a top shot collection. That's it. That's all. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason I'm able to sit courtside at Grizzly games. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I don't – how do you how do you communicate that, right? How do you communicate the utility of this collection? I mean, I feel like – I always felt like if they were just – Part of that thing would say, "Hey, welcome to the you know this 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 week's winner of the courtside tickets, NBA Top Shot collection welcome. tickets." Right? Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, they do that in, in Portland uh, when we have a group together, and our yeah. captains put together a group. And we when we get a group seats up in the like three hundred level, yeah. um, and then we they call us out on the board. Uh, welcome, Rip Rip Peck City. Yeah, top shot community awesome. Um, awesome. but they should do that too with the courtside tickets because uh yeah they could say welcome courtside top shot community even if it's yeah. just one ticket yeah. they, they, yeah. you know call you out because because they call out birthdays just just uh I'll, do they do that at the memphis games do they call out birthdays because you could yeah yeah you know, yeah they do all that stuff and different yeah. groups that are there the whole, the whole nine yards yeah. yeah so get get top shot out there and Plant the seed in people's ears that they can they can expand their NBA experience through Top Shot. So, Alex, I know uh, Portland. The Portland captains are awesome. Um, your community is super active. Uh, do you have a favorite IRL Blazers event? And I mean, it's got to be Clyde the Glide, right? Um. Top Shot event, Clyde the Glide. Didn't you guys have Drexler show up to an IRL? No, um, Terry Porter. That was ter- Terry Porter. Yeah, but no, yeah. that was that was pretty epic. He's come to a couple things. He's been really involved actually with, with our captains. So I don't understand um, how they lined that up. I need to ask. Do you know? Um, I don't know the exact story, but I think they just reached out and 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 made that connection, and now. Uh, they got, and now he's he's always down to hang out uh, with our group. So it's he's he's just 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 been awesome, and he's been more involved with the Blazers lately. Like he's he's yeah. uh, joining the commentary team for a few games here and there. Um, so, and I think I think part of that is uh, Top Shot bringing him back into the Blazers community. So. Yes. Um, so I did. Um, I spoke. I did speak for you. It. Do you have a favorite IRL? No, but you, you nailed it. Yeah, he's come to a couple things, but the but when he came out for the tour, and yeah. like spoke, and there was more, and we had hundreds of people out here, uh, just enjoying the Blazers and enjoying the community. Um, that that was hard to top. I, I was kind of sad we didn't do a tour this year. Did you get that to... was the best thing of series four? Did you get to shake hands with Terry Porter? Oh yeah, yeah. We all there was a long line to go up and shake hands and thank him for coming and get a picture and yeah. Did you uh, actually shake autographs hands, too, or did you like do a cool handshake like something super cool? Just wondering. No, I wasn't. I was. I was starstruck then too. So I. I just. Uh, Went with the flow. And, uh, <laughs> Brett would go in for the fist bump. Questions. I have three people. Yeah, it was just, a, it was just the the awkward. Internet, so I could be back here with you for the last like two minutes or however long, 45 minutes. Appreciate it. Yeah, you just come You just I'm come sorry. for the last two minutes for the game, it's, right? You just come for the fourth quarter. I, <laughs> I was going to say it's kind of like the Mavs, but we didn't do that. Before, so. Crunch time. He's you like, he's like Kyrie and Luca, the best closers in the game. Dude. Alex, did you ask for a autograph from Terry Porter? Ooh. I did. Yes, he, I what got. I was wearing sign? a Blazers jersey, and he, he signed my jersey for me. Nice. Was it a Terry Porter jersey? No, it was just a custom Alexo jersey. Nice. I, I'm, try, I'm trying to get a custom jersey for every arena I go to, and I've only got four right now. But I want to get all thirty at some point. Um, I'm gonna help. That's a jazz that. one. We gotta get That's, you a jazz. That's a cool idea. Come out. That's a cool I was going to come out to, to uh, Salt Lake City um, in a couple of weeks but for a business trip, but uh, it got it got canceled. So I have to find another time to come out there. 
Okay. I, well, let's the only thing I'm I'm allergic to like elevation though, so I need to like work my way up. <laughs> yeah. To make it a road trip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you Living go. out here on the at sea level my whole life. I, if I go to Denver, it's just it's brutal. Yeah. yeah. Dallas yeah. has no elevation. Just there you go. I might. I have to. I have to go there first. Yeah. You'll fit there. Yeah. It's a good. Um, I got. I'm I got some family out there, so I gotta get out there. I'm headed to Boston next week, uh, and I got in the Celtics Discord channel, and I said, "Hey, where where can we where can we get some pickup games?" And and few people DM'd me, and. I'm excited to play bat. I play basketball like twice a week, and I'm excited to play basketball at sea level. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna, gonna crush them. I'm gonna feel 35 again. <laughs> you are, aren't you? you <laughs> are. That's training. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's, a great that, that's that's the other cool thing though is with this community, we have, we have friends all anywhere, all around yep. the world right. now. That's right. So that's that's pretty time. amazing. Anytime you're in Arkansas, guys, you know, you, you know, come uh, give me the key to the city. Yeah. Oh, Funny so enough, cool. my 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 ten year olds strangely really want to visit Arkansas because they love digging for like fossils and gems and stuff, and yeah. they, <laughs> and they they're aware that Arkansas is the spot. It's the diamonds. That. That's it's, cool. Yeah, man. yeah, you can dig for diamonds, man. Murfreesboro. Uh, yeah. So it's we're gonna really we're gonna cool. make a People, trip. You, all right, well, you gotta let me know, bro. Uh, okay, I know some people there. It's a it's a great little it's a really cool little community. And, yeah, uh, I mean, people find diamonds there all the time. It's crazy. Yeah, collecting oh, and connecting fossils too. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, the diamond you edition. Just, you gotta you can diversify with your fossils. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, love I love collecting. I love collecting everything. Cool. So, I, I'm. I, I need some. I need some fossils in my collection. I, that's that's that sounds like like a lot of fun, actually. Alex, do you have a serial number you chase, or no, or just you like special like a want jersey? I, I um outside of jerseys and number ones, I, I like uh, forty four. I don't know why. But that's just a, my that's just my number. So I got a few of those. Um, and uh, yes, yeah. custom jerseys I get. That's that's the number I get. So that was my um, next question. Treat yeah. Brett. You guys have uh, cereals you like to collect? All yeah. of them. Yeah, I'm not. So Nikki, I was going to try to go after number eighteen. So it is redemption. Playoffs. We're going to win the road team this year. But That's a good call. It's uh, it's been a little more difficult than I expected. I wasn't the only one thinking that way. So yeah. <laughs> to it, so. I don't know if I'm going to pull that off. What about you, Colton? I stack. I try to. I try to get number thirteen. Mm -hmm. um, nice. Just my favorite number always has been, but. You were playing chess earlier when we were playing checkers. Listen, I'm playing chess too because guess who else's favorite number is 13? Taylor Swift. So yeah. when the Swifties wow. join Top Shot, they're going to need to come through me if they want number 13 in any jazz moment. I do have a few Damian Lillard 13s as well. Well, you might you might need to get you might need to stack all the 22s also. Yes, oh, good call. I should start song. looking for 22s. And, and, and 1989. Yeah, so yeah. They, they, you got to, yeah, if you want to corner that, you get you got a yeah. few numbers for Swifties. You cornered the Swifty market on NBA. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking awesome. See my Taylor Swift calendar right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> love, You're onto love. something there. I mean, 13 is already a popular number, too, with you got Harden and you got – right. um, PG thirteen, yeah, yeah. Pandemic P. Pandemic. Um, <laughs> I never made that connection that that Harden couldn't wear thirteen because of because of uh, Paul George. Paul George. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, there's a couple other big thirteen jerseys that I, I'm just blanking on right now, but that's a, that's a big yeah. number. And, and it's, it's a it's, it's a cool number. It's it's spooky. Yeah. It's, it's creepy. It has do you have a all-time favorite trailblazer? Uh, 
Uh, I I love CJ. Yeah, he's just he's just a cool guy. Um, yeah, it's a good call. It's hard not to love him. Yeah, I, I, I respect I, the underdog. It's hard to see him struggle lately, but uh, yeah, I, I like him a lot. Had hell of a player. I, I've, ne- I've never I've never met him. If I have to say my like my current favorite is Anthony. I, I love uh, meeting him at summer league last last year at the at the convention. Nice. Uh, that was cool. That's cool. You got to meet him. Did Very Did you cool. ask him to Did you ask him to sign? Uh no. Oh uh, no, he, I did actually. I ran into him again because there there was lines to see him at the convention. But I, right before that, I ran into him in. There's like there was this booth where you can make your own T-shirts, uh-huh. and I was there early in the morning, and he just came in to take a picture with. There was a a, a trophy there too, like the Larry O'Brien trophy, and, and some players were coming through taking pictures, and he he came through, and they saw my Blazers tattoo, and they're like, "Come over here and take a picture." And That's awesome. I got That's awesome. I did. Jersey, so um, I didn't know you had a Blazers. Yeah, that was that was cool. Um, and and right before he came in. Um, uh, KG came in, and I didn't get a picture with him, but it was it was surreal to see KG. He's oh, he's, he's huge. He's <laughs> That's incredible. Player. I'm always torn. I keep asking you if you had him signed because I'm always torn because I always want to ask for autographs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I'm too old. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, like I'm kids. older than the kid that I'm at, you know. And it's big in baseball. I love baseball and. Yeah, I, I, I'm the same way. I hate bothering them. I feel like they get enough of that. But I was lucky enough for both Terry Porter and for Anthony. I think those are the only autographs I do have. So it's, it's funny that <laughs> those came up um, just because they, they offered. So um, that's cool. Yeah. That, that made it easier. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I, I bet they, they understand that tension. So, Tree, if you are at the airport yeah. and you see Jason Tatum, are you going to ask, and you can only ask for a picture or an autograph? Which are you asking for? Yeah, if I'm at the airport, something like that. I'm not probably. I'm not. I'm not going to approach you. Uh, I'm just gonna okay. Well, shoot. there's Jason. You're, but if I'm at something where there's, it's more of like, I feel like there's more of an expectation of that stuff pre-game or at something. Yeah. Where fans are going to be there. I don't. I don't know. Um, and that kind of uh, environment where it's more of these, you know, he's. Jason Tatum, dude, you know, just regular guy at the airport. Not, not, uh, and, and it may, well, it may be, but, I, understand, I understand that with some of my, you know, my fans, you know, like, yeah, I'm trying to have dinner with get my that family. A lot. Right. You get that a lot, I know, from your only fans. <laughs> um, but, but no, the question is, are you asking oh, for an autograph picture, or a picture? I'd rather have a picture. Okay, Brett. I'd rather have a picture. Brett, Brett, you asking? Are you asking Luca for a picture or an autograph? Um, yes. Never let him go. I I'm gonna ask for a picture because people can believe I take an autograph, but I guess I can, I can take a picture too. Hang it. I don't know. I'm, uh, all of it. Autograph, yeah. autograph seems like the, the thing to do because it's something that's, you know, you'll have forever. There's value to it. Someone could buy it at some point. I don't think anyone's going to buy a picture of me and Luca. Yeah. But they could. So, cool. but fandom, I'm going to go picture because it's, it just shows me with the person. Uh, yeah. That I love Rudy. Okay. It's good stuff. I, I, I've always been a picture guy too. Like that, that's that you know, you gotta capture the moment, right? Yeah. Uh, so um but now with uh with AI you could just <laughs> you could just create it, your picture with anyone. Um, so let me show so you maybe, maybe there is some I can't even spell AI, I must use use AI. So that's why I said <laughs> Well so as soon enough summer. it'll be using us, so what we got? Uh, Colton's got, yeah, what you got there, big boy? So my favorite, since Brett, thank you for asking me what my favorite moment on the platform is. Yes. It's nice. this Damian Lillard um, three-point contest moment 
because me and Dame yeah. attend at the same university right up the street from me, Weber State University. Nice. So he co- he comes back to Ogden every summer to train at the university that we – it's prestigious. A lot of people don't know about it, Ivy League. Um, I'm going to get Dame to sign this display. Oh, nice. Yeah. And that's a great call, bro. That's gonna be that's cool. awesome. And whenever that's you do, cool. and you can put it on every, yeah. Person, hang it, like chain or where, like Jalen Green did in the dunk contest. Oh, so did you go to All Star last year? I did. I was there. I was. That's cool. I was in the building. I was in a. Yeah, I was there for this. That's cool. Well, whenever you, uh, whenever Colton gets that done. Uh, needs to bring it back. We'll have to bring him back on the show. But we are we are out of time, my friends. Uh, great show. I appreciate everybody being on today. We had a lot of a lot of fun. Um, good chat for hours. King Brett, uh, thanks for hanging in there, uh, in and out, never giving up. Uh, Colton again. Sorry, Brett. I was going to stop till I finished. Getting on and getting a face to face. He always put it all in there and not stop. Like the, you always finish, is what I've heard. Cole, Thank you. Yeah, I'm not finished. Favorite. Yeah. Thank you. And 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 the legend, the legend, Lexo. Uh, we'll see yeah. you uh, in the Top Shot streets. Um, if you if you're watching or listening, uh, let us uh, let us hear from you. We're gonna keep collecting and connecting. We still love Top Shot. Always will. And uh, appreciate all the all the dear friends we're meeting along the way. Y'all have a good one. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alex.